We're gonna kill one rat gamer. We get Ghost City. I don't even have to use the sword swing anymore. You just run. Dude? <laughs> Dude? You ain't seen nothing yet. For those who haven't played Dead Souls in a while, Dead Souls is probably in the best spot it's been in. In terms of fun factor, you can't not have fun in Dead Souls anymore. It's literally illegal to not have fun in the game. We have pretty much every kind of weapon you could possibly want. I'm using Death Sight that creates little ghosts that follow me and attack enemies. How is that legal? I open the door, they go right in. You may think to yourself, all right, this is pretty strong. How could this get any better? In fact, there's an argument where tactics is the superior version to this because we kind of want point blank and point blank buffs the ghosts, even though that should be like highly unnecessary. But we're grabbing point blank first, which should increase the damage of the ghosty goose. Funny enough, you could probably run Parting Gift with this. Isn't Scythe fully green or are you tripping? It, you're not tripping. But wouldn't it be super interesting if like I could play this through as pure tactics until the legendary shows up? What did I parry? <laughs> wait, 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 what, what, what did I just see? I only need like one ghost to spawn <laughs> and then we're fine. This is ghost waiting room. I kind of feel like it looks like a tactics item. Like, look at this thing. You're telling me this is survival? I refuse to believe it. Do the ghost spawn from ghost spawn from ghost? We're not there yet. Almost though, almost. Keep that in mind for later. Uh, can you explain why we're playing tactics if you're using a survival weapon? I'm sorry. <laughs> There's nothing to be sorry about. This weapon will have issues on bosses. The ghosts themselves are ranged damage. Mutations that work on ranged damage, such as point blank, work with the ghosts. In bosses, I'm hoping that turrets such as Tesla coil carry me because <laughs> the scythe isn't going to do anything really please give me a colorless scythe <laughs> we're in there okay okay Aegon suddenly we're back in the game it's so much lower level but that doesn't matter rigged nah <laughs> nah Look at this. Now, eventually, we're not gonna press the square button at all. No ghosts? Mega Mine, no ghosts? These things are really tanky, too. Okay, big ghost right here. Huge. <laughs> all right, give me two. Nice. So we'll wish now. Just remind me not to pick up anything. Ooh. Wrong way. Okay, so Sheer Bearer apparently is the uh, the best in class for blocking ghosts. That's uh, Dan Aykroyd in the flesh. Alright, here we go. Big ghosts. Not bad. Apparently you cannot make a ghost from pets. Dude, why didn't you stop it? <laughs> the ghost was right there. It just went AFK. Okay, the build is now live. So death scythe, enemies killed by the ghosts become ghosts themselves. Um, This entire biome is empty. <laughs> I literally have nothing I can do this on. Um, Conjunct herself has ads, so we should be able to see some of the ghost gameplay there. Alright, so first boss, 
We're using tactics with turrets because we believe bosses are going to suck. Wait, this does pretty good damage. I didn't even reset. Let's see what I can get. Okay, so did I get a ghost? I did not get a ghost and I'm trolling. Ooh. Wait, that did a lot of damage. Go city. So we have like one. Oh, I have two. Wait, that's double. Unfortunately, you don't get a ghost from bosses. So it doesn't work on giant, doesn't work on servants. What it does work on, however, is Scarecrow. Just to say that. So perhaps we go Scarecrow. Um, what that does mean is that we will not be able to do Dracula. I feel like a build like this, you just don't go Dracula. The legendary Dead Scythe Hell custom. We're gonna kill one rat gamer. We get Ghost City. I don't even have to use the sword swing anymore. You just run. Open the doors. Ghosts can't use doors. They need our help. Dude? <laughs> Dude? You ain't seen nothing yet. Only possible when running tactics. Except that's probably not super true, but hey. We got tremendous amounts of damage here. If someone else out there is doing more damage than us, they're hacking. Instant win weapon? Remember, this is best legendaries no cap that we're recording right now. This is the YouTube. Okay, sometimes you have to dodge roll. I didn't know that. <laughs> they didn't put that in the manual. Wait, how did you live? The ghost just stood there. Thank you. He has one million power in Rise of Kingdoms. <laughs> that sounds like a YouTube thumbnail that would say like level one new and it has like a ghost rat. Level 100 pro. It has a whole <laughs> rat army. Can you please kill stuff? Stop trolling. <laughs> no, that was my last ghost. Not bad, not bad. Honestly, when I set this up today, I didn't think it would be as uh, clean as I thought it was. Or didn't I didn't think it would be as clean as it actually is. Um, if you hit things while the ghosts are going, you could avoid using up a ghost. But then I have to do work. And I don't know how I feel about that. Sometimes they struggle getting to the next platform. I get it. If I was dead for 20 years, I'd struggle sometimes too. But then again, like the ghost doesn't know it's been 20 years. Uh, to a ghost, it's only been a day and a half. We are playing custom mode, just to let you all know, we have every weapon turned off, except the Scythe. So, like, does this work in standard gameplay? Probably not as, uh, easy to get. Like, there's probably a 1 in 1,000 chance that this shows up in a regular run. Where you were playing tactics, and then you randomly got a legendary death Scythe. Like, that can actually happen. Custom mode's great. It's good for content, too. So, like, obviously, having this stuff come up randomly is really fun. And if it comes up during, like, a 18 BC run, then that's great. Like, we'll, we will 100% use it. Um, but sometimes we don't get cool stuff like this every time. We have to make it. You're by yourself? 
Wow. That harpoon was one inch away from me. I like the shoe arrows. That works with point blank. If we can get shoe arrows and also electrical damage, that'd be great. Electrical, but no arrows. Electrical with the arrows. Okay. That should have a setup perfectly fine on bosses. Because the other big issue about this build is can it even kill a boss? Which I still had wish. Bank is big enough that I'll probably get some malaise. Oh no! You block it? Uh oh. Well, we have found the monster that doesn't die instantly. Everything else seems okay. Curse. If I were a curse, I'm losing ghosts for this. <laughs> I mean, that doesn't really matter. Because it being colorless doesn't really add to the damage of it very much. It goes from 100 to 2,000, which is still kind of nothing. But if I have to parry a bullet, it should at least help me kill the Inquisitor that's shooting at me. Okay, Gold Gorger. We want to get back to the point where I don't have to actually press any buttons. Pressing button bad. Crap, I didn't even get something I want. Maybe I'll take the Scavenge Bombard as a Mimic check. But I need to come in here with ghosts. I, I'm not fighting that without the homies. Pretty good stack of ghosts. I do say so myself. Yeah, see how that parry actually killed the Arbiter? Okay, so for a quick, these should come with me. There it is. Okay, that worked a lot more than I thought it actually would. We do have a, a ghosty mimic, but nothing to use it on, unfortunately. Juggle? That was my, uh, oh, what's his name? Zato, that was my Zato. You might be noticing a damage difference between a few of these. Uh, believe it or not, the ghosts do damage based on their max HP. They deal max HP percent true damage. 40k compared to 20k, I was not watching at all. I was looking at the numbers. I need velocity. I gotta just catch up to the monsters before the ghosts run out. Look at that ghost army. Hang on, hang on. Ghosts, don't go away yet. Ghost! You gotta kill this, please! That's kinda sick. Do that legendary affix low. Are you saying it's good? We got Scarecrow. You may be wondering, V, why would you ever go Scarecrow? This is by far the worst boss in the game. Well, we're here because Scarecrow has ads. Um, if Scarecrow ever gets to the point where it summons Mushroom Boys, we will farm them for ghosts. I do have Rampart too, which is really good in this fight. Or, I don't have to do anything, and the turrets do all the work. That was basically an idea that, okay, if this boss, if this weapon struggles on bosses, then we need a build to deal with that. And that's why we're playing this on tactics, because you can't do what we just did on survival. I feel like the Tranquilo doesn't really become a requirement. It's just every once in a while, a ghost wanders off on its own. I don't know if it's like going back to its promised land. I don't know if it's being summoned by some kind of necromancer off in the distance. Yo, this is new music. We've never heard this before. All right, AFK mode. 
Oh my god, you live. Uh-oh, monsters are living. They're living, breathing things. I have to actually hit some of them. Not all of them. <laughs> as you can see. But some of them. If this build had armadillo pack, I feel like you would legitimately not need to play the game. Unfortunately, we have Wish. So, ideally, if you found a legendary scythe in the wild, you could make a much better build than I have. Wild Tactics. Uh, we're kind of gated right now. But as you see, the only thing we're really missing out on is disengage, just for survival purposes. Okay. If I had ghosts, this would be really fun. Like, you, then you really don't have to do anything. You just cocoon everybody while ghosts kill everyone. But that's not... Well, it's actually good on Hand of the King in general. Uh, we'll take it. What's my favorite route to win 5 BC? I don't have a favorite route. Uh, Logurt, I legitimately change my routing depending on what my gear is. Some people have said maybe we need an updated routing guide. Wow. <laughs> Good cocoon. $70,000! Ghost. Do we have a routing guide on YouTube? Yes, but it's... It's pretty old. I think it was before Corrupted Prison came out is when we made that. So I would like to do one with the DLC stuff. We're about to see a five second hand in the king, but I don't have ghost. What am I supposed to do? That's half my damage. If not more. My Danny Phantoms. All right, hand in the king. No. It's one of the hardest bosses in all of Dead Cells. I did not reset. I did not take disengage. I did not take support. Almost forgot what else I could be using. We will take support on Spoiler Boss. Are there ways to still do that? Maybe full ammo on um, Bear Man's Lantern? No, oh, my Tesla! That's Elon's Tesla right there! No flat ghost? Oh wow, that did zero damage. Uh-oh. <laughs> this is new music. Never before listened to. But does the Phantom build work? Does the Bugatti still flow? Okay, how about you? I still have to dodge one. Though I guess I could have pressed the cocoon button, right? It appears you just found the most broken build. Lol. I don't know. I still have to do stuff. Okay, Shantae Prevention. Yeah, wake me up when I don't have to press any buttons. When I can just hold the right key. Then I know we're in the right place. Get him! Oh, I need that. <laughs> you know we gotta get the triple purple. We need all the damage we can get. When you're playing tactics, health bars are non-existent. You basically have two HP. One to get hit by, the next one to die by. Oh wait, that ghost came out of nowhere. That's what cocoon's for. But help if I press the button. Ooh, that kills Shantae with just the overhead. That's really good. By the way, Bird's still confirmed as the hardest enemy in the game. Oh no! Anti-ghost technology! Okay, so I did press the attack button a lot more on this biome than any other biome. I think that's fine because these monsters are very weird. And my worry is that we don't always have the right hitbox. Okay, we got one. Ooh, bird on bird. Um, final build is support for sure. 
the 43% bonus damage. Um, and then I would like to bring in Disengage, but I honestly think I'd be better off taking Triage. Um, because what that lets us do is when it's time for the final drink, we'll pick it up, chug, and then like instantly start fighting again. It also allows us to like do cheeky drinks to avoid damage. Um, but we're probably gonna do Cocoon instead if I have to do that. We're going into the spoiler boss of Dead Cells. We're doing this with a quote unquote best build in all of Dead Cells. I say quote unquote because that's what Reddit says and I don't. Um, unfortunately the build doesn't really work in here. So I had to bring in items that are going to help for bosses. Um, if I make it to add phase though, we can get a couple ghosts. Um, I think the strat is to not kill the ghosts. I mean, not to kill the monsters. Let them stack, and then you try to make three ghosts out of it. Um, but alas, let's get in here. Boss fight, boss scenario. Malaise is going up. Back again for the medicine. I'm itching. It's not good. Should probably call a doctor. We do have Rampart. Only sucky part is if you get the bubble during his charge, he just bounces off of you. Yo, new music? Oh my god. Good damage. That's the power of 34 tactics, I think. Okay, we can cocoon this. Never mind, I missed every single grenade. Okay, so let's stack these. Unlucky. I got two ghosts. Eh, I didn't put my Tesla coil down, so we missed a lot of damage there. That's Elon's Tesla. Don't do the self-drive though, that's very, very dangerous. Ooh, that was fast. But see how he like bounces off of me? Quick chug. Good parry. Ooh! That was in the solar plexus. That's this thing, right? What have you done? Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. That's the most important part. The dot, dot, dot. Wow, that was not half bad. Um, now we did have a lot of tactics. We're playing tactics in the first place. So remember, this whole weapon is a survival weapon. We decided at the very start of the run that I'm going to take the regular green scythe and put all my points in purple and use purple mutations until we get a colorless one. We got lucky in prison depths and that did help us, you know, carry through. We got to use our wish, what, two biomes later? Um, no, we used it in the next biome anyway. So all we did was we saved ourselves one biome by having a colorless one. We got the legendary, still tactics. We rolled the whole game. Or so some people would tell you happened. I, I don't, because I can't say that the build is good. That's up to you all to decide. Um, so let's do a poll. Rate the legendary scythe. Okay, so like triple S, always take S, A, B, C. All right, cash your votes, people. I don't know. I don't know if it's good or not. I, I just play the game. The coach at the end of the day sits down at the conference table, has all the reporters and says that my team did a good job. Me and all the ghosts. All we gotta do is perform out on the court and I let the coach do all the talking. 